Hello, here is your <laughs> astrology chart. And just really quick, the inside, this is you, the moment you were born. And this is a map of the sky, the moment you were born from Earth's perspective. Out here on the outside is today, where all the planets and things are um, on the 3rd of May. So you have two super exciting initiation phases going on at the same time. So um, the thing I was feeling was Pluto, and you are in a Pluto cycle, which is oh, like one of the shivering, you know, it's, it's um, an initiation into your own deepest power. So the cycle is meant to break up and burn, destroy, get rid of anything in your life that stands between you fully realizing your own inner genius, realizing your own power. Um, so that, that's, you know, like when a flower is um, opening, naturally some of the things fall away. And there is a little bit of grief that you can feel for that beautiful flower that is losing its petals, you know, and it's falling. <laughs> and um, but with the with our cosmic perspective of the flower, we're able to see that as the petals are falling, um, it's bittersweet, you know, because we know that something more beautiful will emerge. So that's the Pluto cycle. Um, I didn't get the exact dates for you, so um, it's it's amazing because I'm in the same cycle and we're not the same age, so it's it's really cool to me. Um, but there will be three hits of Pluto. The first hit is like it's like the call in um, Joseph Campbell's book about uh, I think it's called Hero with Many Faces. It's like the hero or the heroine's journey. The first hit is the call to adventure. The second hit is sort of um, where we, you know, we have the experience, whatever that's going to be. And then the, the third hit is where we are able to integrate and digest our new found power into our physical body and into our life. Um, so I'll look up the dates and I'll uh, attach that to the little lower portion of this video um, for your Pluto cycle. So covering what it is, what's the purpose of it, um, what are your exact dates, and then it's sort of up to you to see um, how those dates coincide with events in your life and for you to find your source of power and really connect to that. And, and you know, it can be really scary and overwhelming and intense. It's not it can be. It usually is. Um, it's meant to be because... Like in the in um, if you were going to be initiated into a, a shamanic whatever, you would have to jump off of a tall mountain into a freezing cold pond of ice. It's like you might die. You feel like you might die. It's the same thing. We don't have the pond of ice water, and you know we may maybe don't have a teacher in a physical body. But these initiations are woven into life. So um, the next thing that I saw here is Saturn. So you're in an, a Saturn initiation. This makes sense to me because we get these Saturn cycles every seven years or so. And this is, you know, you're at that age where you would be having your Saturn cycle. The funny thing is, is that you're having them both at the same time. You're having Pluto and Saturn. So let's talk about Saturn. Saturn's purpose is to get you to get your shit done, to excuse my language, to get your work done. Um, I wish I could just edit that out, <laughs> but I can't because I don't know how. So anyway, um, to get it done. So the, the Saturn square is going to, it, again, it'll hit three times. Not everybody gets three hits of Saturn. I'm noticing that sometimes people just get one hit and it's like the whole thing is just uh, plopped down on them. Um, but usually there'll be three. So the first hit is like you get served your papers. You're being summoned to court. 
the second hit is like the court date where, you know, you got summoned. So you have to like go gather all your materials like for life and the judge being like the forefathers or the structure, you know, um, the fathers, the it's like that masculine energy. Um, mm, I don't even want to say that anymore. No, it's the energy that has set your structure in form for you. It's been informing your structure. So you gather all your paper and you show up in front of the judge. That's the second hit. And, you know, they're sort of giving you your your ruling where it's like, okay, well, you got this violation, this violation. We're going to excuse this. You got to go to traffic school and anger management. And, you know, we'll, we'll see how you're doing in six months kind of thing. And then the last hit is where you integrate it or you don't you know some people um go through these saturn cycles and don't integrate it they don't get the lesson and so they keep on having to show up to court you know like the cosmic court so um again i'll get the exact dates for your saturn cycle that you're in and the, the fun thing is to see how it coincides with life today it is exact meaning that this is a hit. I'm not sure if it's the first hit, the second hit, I'm pretty sure it's not the third hit, but it's it's um, fascinating and amazing to me. So Saturn in the big sky is at 27 degrees of Sagittarius. Your natal Saturn is at 27 degrees of Virgo. So sometimes uh, the way that I like to look at these to get better clues about what exactly is your initiation cycle about, because I just told you the main features of what is Pluto cycle about, what is Saturn cycle about. But then looking at the house position and the sign, we can sort of get a clue. So let's just play a little game here and I'm gonna do this, but do it for yourself also your natal Saturn is over here in the sign of Virgo in the fifth house. So to me, this is like your inner authority <clears throat> is in the area of um, self-expression, radiance, innocence, childlike fun and play, and also being on center stage. And with that being in the sign of Virgo, be the way that you're doing that is through process, um, sacred steps, like rituals and things that you do repetitive. I'm doing this because it looks like organization. So it's a kind of funny thing, right? Because being innocent and playful and childlike in an organized sort of way. But I can see that from your life. You know, you schedule in, you guys, you're always doing fun things and it's scheduled in. So that makes sense to me. So your Saturn right now, uh, not yours, Saturn is in Sagittarius, and that would be in your eighth house, which is really about energy, how you're incorporating energy, how you're working with subtle energy. Energy from strong emotions is the most palpable. You can feel it. It gives you a visceral feeling. Um, so how you're working with that, and, and it's like they want you to evolve and expand, not only for yourself, but for the collective. Um, I hope that makes sense. So that's the Saturn piece. Let's now look at our dear friend Pluto, who is in Capricorn. Pluto's going to be in Capricorn for a very long time. It moves, Pluto moves very slowly. So in our initiations, we often have 18 months to be going through this initiation phase with Pluto. Your natal Pluto is in the sixth house in the sign of Virgo. The sixth house, again, being, um, you know, the part of you that is ritualistic, the part of you that is um, what you hold as sacred. So looking at everything that you hold as sacred. Wow. So whew, this is for the Pluto cycle. You know, make a list. This is something that um, my teacher um, has recommended to do for the Pluto cycle and I think I've done it mentally but let's do it together I'll do it also where I'm, I'm gonna write out um, he said to write out everything that you fear you know right like what's the worst that could happen for you it's in it's in relationship to what you hold as sacred your sacred timings your 
um, your work, not work, but the mundane tasks of life. Um, and everything that has to do with, um, this is like the priest or priestess part of you that does rituals in whatever way that you do them. So, and it's in the sign of Libra. So having, um, so let's look at it like this. Um, wow. So Libra is really about the relating to others, um, relationships with others. So what you hold as sacred and then as it relates to relationships. So Pluto in Capricorn is uh, changing. So the way that this is overall collectively, Pluto in Capricorn is bringing up the shadow from our structure and form, your home, your work, your structure, your form. That's Capricorn your basic foundation of life. Pluto for us collectively is breaking it down. There's revolutions all over the world and just, you know, we're getting to see the shadow of what our forefathers have built for us and what we have collectively agreed. I'm pointing to the head because it is like in some way we were born into it and we kept it going because we weren't the one who was like, hey, wait a minute, what? You know, we just kept it going. I think a lot of us now are waking up and we're consciously breaking down those structures and forms. So this is this is uh, yours right now. This is your work to do. Pluto uh, for you natally is 20 degrees and eight minutes of the sign of Libra in the sixth house. And in the big sky, Pluto is at 19. So it's just a little bit, you know, like less than a degree away. And um, I'll get those dates for you exact. So um, I'm going to stop there. Let me know if you have any questions. I really, really bow to you and honor you because number one, most people don't have the ability to turn the eyes inward and see the inside. Um, we're focused outward and like, oh, you're doing this and that and, and naming the things on the outside that are going wrong. But I feel that, you know, you're really showing up in a way that is like seeing yourself, you know, and you're ready to do that. And it's amazing. It's beautiful and amazing. And we were even able to laugh a little bit with, the, you know, the intensity of what's happening. So um, you're awesome. And I love you so much. So thank you. Let me know if you have any questions. I'm more than happy to answer them. Also, I'll be making another video um, specifically for Pluto. And maybe I should, I did one for Saturn. So I'll send you a link for that. I don't know if I gave exercises, but I'm going to do a video giving exercises for Pluto with some chi cultivation, energy cultivation, um, moving energy, ways to work with energy with a couple of the yogic breathing exercises and different techniques that will be helpful during this particular initiation. Thank you so much. I look forward to connecting with you soon.